all, the Pharaoh that knew Moses died. And the succeeding Pharaoh was very harsh to the Israelites. We saw that they were living in bondage. They were living in slavery. In other words, they were in a box. Israel was in a box. We are going to see where it is in the history. Text is Genesis, Exodus chapter 2, verses 23 and 24. It's going to be a short text. Exodus chapter 2, verses 23 to 24. And she bore him a son. He called his name Jeshon. Exodus chapter 2, verses 23 to 24. Now it happened in the process of time. Uh huh. And the king of Egypt died. King of Egypt died. Then the children of Israel. Amen. 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 The king of Egypt died. And another king came up. Pharaoh. The Pharaoh that was there when Joseph and his people came in, he died. Because that Pharaoh treated them very well. When that Pharaoh was there, Egypt was, was paradise for them. But this time, the process of time, that Pharaoh died. And what? Then the children of Israel groaned because of the bondage. Because Israelites were in bondage. And they cried out. They cried out. And their cry came up to God because of the bondage. Amen. Their cry came up to God because of the bondage. God had their cry, and God wanted to do something. God remembered his covenant with Abraham. God remembered his covenant with Abraham. With Isaac and with Jacob. With Isaac and with Jacob. Remember, he said in verse 24 that these guys were groaning. The guys that were happy when the previous Pharaoh was alive, they were now groaning. Because they were being task work. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's, that's, that's fine. Thank you. 23 and 24. Read chapter 3, verse 7. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the oppression of the my Lord people. The Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people, are which are in Egypt. And I have heard their cry. I have heard their cry. Because of their taskmaster. Because of their taskmaster. For I know their sorrows. Because God knows their sorrows, and God knows their own sorrow. Whatever problem you are in, whatever box you are in, God sees it more than everybody. And as God rescued these guys, God is going to rescue you. Amen. 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 Read chapter 5 from verse 6. What we are reading now is how somebody gets into sorrow, into, into the box. So the same day, Pharaoh commanded the taskmasters of the people and their officers saying, Listen, listen very well. You shall no longer give the people straw to make brick. Hold on. As before. Hold on. When these Israelites were doing the task work, the Egyptians, the Egyptians were giving them straw so they can make bricks. Because you use straw to make bricks. But when the other fellow died and the new fellow came, they refused giving them straw. They said that they would go to the, to the villages and gather the straw by themselves and come and make the bricks. And the point that they were making before will be the same fellow. Hold on. Let them go and gather straw for themselves. And you shall lay on them the quarter of bricks which they made before. You shall not reduce it. See? For they are idle. Therefore, they cry out, saying, Let us go and sacrifice to our God. Let more work be laid on the men. Amen. Let more work be laid upon the men. That they may labor in it. These task masters became very cruel. And wanted to increase the task of the of the of Israelites. Read on. And let them not regard false words. And the taskmasters of the people and their officers went out and spoke to the people, saying, "Thus says Pharaoh, I will not give you straw. Go, get yourself straw where you can find it. Yet none of the work will be reduced. So the people were scattered abroad throughout all the land of Egypt." To gather stubble instead of straw. And the taskmasters forced them to hurry, saying, Fulfill your work, your daily quota, as when there was straw. Also, the officers of the children of Israel 
whom Pharaoh's taskmasters had set over them, we are bidding and we are asked, why have you not fulfilled your task in making bread, both yesterday and today? Amen. Thank you. You see what happened? Even though the Israelites were going to go and get the straw and also make the bricks, they were beaten, they were fraud, they were maltreated, they were treated like slaves in Egypt. How can one get into a box? How do somebody get into a box? How did they go get into the box? They went into that box because of what? Hunger, famine. They went to Egypt because of famine. It was good for them initially, but after some time, the goodness turned to badness. The goodness, the, 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 the food they were eating turned to slavery. The good treatment they were given, they were, they were receiving, turned to uh, 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 bad treatment. And so they suffered. So there are many ways in which you and I can get into, into the box. Faithlessness is one of the ways of getting into the box. When we are faithless, we get into the box. In John chapter 6, when Jesus Christ and his disciples moved into the other side of Galilee, and Christ saw a large multitude, he told Philip to go and get food and feed the 5,000. Philip turned to Christ, you crazy? You don't know mathematics? How can we, can you calculate the amount of money that can be used to buy food and feed 5,000? Where is the money? You know, Philip was faithless. Christ told him that because Philip came from that area. And he thought that Christ really meant him to go and buy five thousand, food for 5,000 people. Christ was tempting him to see whether he is faithful. So if you don't have faith, you are already in the box. Amen? So when Christ revealed to him that they can feed the 5,000, what happened? Philip went and searched, became obedient, went and searched and got five loaves of bread and how many fishes? Two fishes. And with that, God performed his miracle and what was impossible, impossible uh, with Philip became possible for everybody then and even us now. Because if we are faithful, if we have faith, we can move mountains. How can we get into the box? By being fearful. If you are afraid, you can easily get into the box. When, this, the, when they were in the ship and the storm rose, Christ was sleeping. It was, the ship was moving up and down, up and down. And they went to him. Jesus, don't you think we are missing? Don't you care we are missing? We are going to die? That is fear. But remember, these are the people who have seen Jesus Christ perform so many miracles. They saw him raise the dead. They saw him uh, heal the blind. They saw him re restore, restore somebody's uh, deafness. They saw him raise the, 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 the dead to walk. They saw him perform so many other miracles. And now they are afraid of the storm. So fear is another way of getting into the box. And the box, remember, is a place of hopelessness. Amen? Amen? We can also get into the box by sickness. When sickness comes, we think that we cannot get well again. Just like Job. Job was in a box. Yes, he was in a box. But he never thought that he'd get well. The only thing different between Job and us is that when we are sick, terribly sick, we think we don't we, we, we think that we won't get out of it. We try to say that oh we have to curse God. But God, but Job was there. Everything that happened to him, he never one day cursed God. But he did something wrong. He caused the day he was born. That was terrible. And the same thing happens to us. If Job caused the day he was born, we can equally cause the day we are born. But that is not right. So fear is another way of getting into the box. Sickness is there. Disappointment is there. Loneliness is there. When you are lonely, you seem to be in a box. 
Another thing, another way of getting the boss is when you, like in corporate offices, when all these big guns see the employees as objects and not human beings, then the box. When you and I see others as not human beings, we are in a box. Amen? Amen? But that wouldn't be a portion Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, how can a husband get in a box? Or when does somebody know that he or she is in a box? I'll give you an example. When a husband feels that himself is the only one surviving, he's the only one providing something in the house. He sees himself as a victim. When a husband sees himself as a victim of the wife, he brags that he's hardworking, he's important, he's fair. He says that he's loving, he's caring, because he's always providing. Amen? But then, about him, why? What does he say about his, his wife? He says, My spouse is inconsiderate. Everything I do for her, she doesn't seem to appreciate. She's unappreciative. My wife is not appreciating what I'm doing. She's a faker. My wife is lousy and lazy. Women say the same thing. Women say the same thing. My husband doesn't care. I pay the rent. I do and do this. He's always sleeping. He doesn't get up in the house. He said that my husband doesn't appreciate everything I'm doing in the house. I do this, I do this, I do this, I do that. My husband doesn't appreciate. He's lousy. He's lazy. I bet you he's not only the vegetables that are in the box. Nations can be in a box. Nations can be in a box. America was in a box. Yes. America was in a box. How can you, a master, take a rope and put on the neck of your slave and drag him around and ring the bell for sale, for sale, for sale, for sale? Is yes. America not in a box? By doing that, answer me. Yes. 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 America had problem. America was in a box. When they drag people around and bring them for sale, for sale, for sale, America was in a box. America was in a box. When America said that, I am the quarter of a person. Right? There was a time I was the quarter of a person in this country. And so I believe America was then in a box. How can your country not be in a box when Nigeria is the fifth largest supplier of oil to the United States? Fifth largest supplier of crude oil to the United States. And you go to our country, you cannot drive freely from Lagos so, Nigeria is in a box. Therefore, being in a box, being in a state of hopelessness is not for an individual. It's also for nations. Amen? It's not for an individual alone, it's for nations also. How can we get out of the box? I told you this message during this short. How can we get out of the box? Everybody can easily get into a box. What matters is not getting into a box. What matters is not only the box. The most important thing is how to get out of the box. That's the most important thing. How do we get out of the box? Amen? Amen. Let somebody open Genesis 14, 21 to 22. How do we get out of the box? If you say you are not in a box or you have never been in a box, you are not telling the truth. Yes. Hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Anyone who says he or she has never been in a box is not telling the truth. Amen. I have been in a box. Maybe I'm still in a box. Amen? Amen? So I have to find a way of getting 
out on the box. 